Hi everyone, welcome to our 100th episode of The Roundabout. All of you that are watching out there are one of the 100 reasons for our ongoing success. So thank you so much for all your support. Here's to another 100. So now on to news. The UAE has launched a price comparison site while Dubai could soon be home to the first local burger joint. Google and Amar have just announced a special global announcement. Prices will remain stable during Ramadan and would you pay for a unique mobile number here in the UAE? You're with me, Jessica, on the centennial episode of The Roundabout. You can now compare the prices of a range of products from online fashion stores to e-commerce sites on the newly launched bcam.com. Originally launched in Egypt in 2012, the site allows consumers to compare prices on products, give reviews and provides retail locations. Ranging from electronics, clothes, cosmetics and e-commerce products, the site aims to help consumers make the best choices and get their best value for money when shopping online. This is pretty soon and the site will be launching price comparisons on food and drink. So this means that you can get the best buy, money, food, drink, doesn't matter what you buy, it's you're always gonna get the best price for it. For those of you who have been to Al Wahda Mall in Abu Dhabi since November last year, you'll have probably seen the new trendy hangout, the Burger Bureau. But did you actually know that this trendy hangout is the UAE's first and only locally born burger joint? More importantly, the UAE's first local burger joint is planning to expand much closer to home here in Dubai sometime this year. With burger names like The Chopper, 007 and The Inspector, it's sure to stimulate some people's appetites. What's more, Burger Bureau apparently plans to add more nutritional value, choice and taste to their menu so they can place themselves successfully amongst the other stiff competition in the region. How's that for something to sink your teeth into? So, you've seen the world's tallest building from the outside. It's kind of hard to miss, but have you all seen it from the inside? For those of you who haven't actually stepped inside this building of modern history, check this. Google and Amar Properties has just announced that the Burj Khalifa has joined some of the world's most famous landmarks in this special collect section of Google Maps. This means that you can literally see everything inside the Burj at any time if accessed through Google Maps, as the capture takes you through its high-speed elevators, sky lobbies, meeting facilities and its breathtaking views. Google pursues its quest to build the perfect, most comprehensive map. Not only is it the first of its kind in the Arab world, but it's also the first skyscraper in the world to be part of the Google Special Collect. Now, it's not quite a teleportation device, but it's the closest thing to it. Make sure you check it out on google.ae slash streetview. The Supreme Committee for Consumer Protection has just suspended the processing of requests for price increases before the end of the holy month of Ramadan, which has been announced to be around the 10th of July. Some of the most outstanding general Ramadan initiatives that are happening this year include allowing consumers to save up to 50%. This is by including promotions, sales and even Ramadan basket offerings as part of their initiative. This supports the Ministry of Economy's continuing strategic decisions to enhance clean and fair trade practices and it's also a noble way to treat consumers during the holy month of Ramadan. Along with the Dubai Summer Surprises festival that's still going on, if you're looking for some good vibes across Dubai, now's the time to do it. So, we've all heard about the expensive number plates being sold in the UAE, like the 51 million dirham plate number one from Abu Dhabi. And in the first four months of 2013, more than 8 billion dirhams in personal loans have been given out by banks across the UAE. But just how far would some of us to go to get a cool mobile phone number here in the UAE? Apparently 40,000 dirhams too far. Now, given the hype that surrounds unique car number plates and even mobile phone numbers, 
It's no wonder people would go to extreme lengths to be unique in the number department. I mean, that's cool if you do, but just a friendly reminder that there have been a lot of scams recently surrounding this. And if you do actually want to buy yourself a really cool number, make sure you check with Etisalat or Duo or any telecommunications company that the numbers are actually available before you've paid something like $40,000 for a number that doesn't even exist. Thanks for joining us on our centennial episode of The Roundabout. Don't forget to like us, subscribe, share this video and follow us at The Roundabout too. Here's this week's weather. I'll see you all again next week. Bye for now.